Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I just got out of the shower and I still need to do my skincare, but I haven't made coffee yet this morning, so we're gonna do that first. Today is Wednesday and it's November 2nd, which is so crazy to me. I'm already getting into the Christmas spirit and just like feeling so excited for this time of year. I was gonna say that my mom got me this robe from Barefoot Dreams and I feel like this would be a really good gift for the holidays. I put this on every Every time I get out of the shower and I feel like I never get dressed like right out of the shower but this one is so soft and cozy so I'll link it for you guys but like I said we're gonna make coffee and then I'll do my skincare after that I've really been in my hot coffee era I love having a warm drink when I wake up in the morning and then sometimes I'll want like a cold one in the afternoon. I need to exfoliate my skin today because I haven't done any exfoliating since the hydrofacial and I try to exfoliate my skin like one to two times a week. But this is my favorite exfoliator. It's the Zeo Skin Health Exfoliating Polish and it's blue and has these tiny beads in it. It feels kind of weird but you can tell that it's working. I just put on this set from White Fox and this one is really big and comfy. I love how oversized it is, but I got this one last year, so I don't know if they still have it. You'll have to check their website, but their loungewear is some of my favorite. They have so many different options and the material and this one is like really warm. I'm just kind of having a cozy day at home because I am pretty behind on work stuff. I was spending a lot of time with Jake and Camilla and my dad Brandon so I didn't do a lot of it but I'm gonna work on some editing today I also have some laundry to do and I need to clean up a bit so that's kind of like what's on the agenda for today I'm just gonna have some cereal for breakfast today I bought this at Sprouts yesterday and it's a lovebird grain free organic cereal I've seen Sydney Adams posted before I got the honey one but they also have a cinnamon and a cacao I think there's an original too so there's like four different flavors, but I just decided to go for this one. And this is the ingredients that's in it. So it's really simple. It's grain free, gluten free, and there's no like refined sugar or anything in it. a little bit of cacao nibs into it and then I'm gonna do a little cinnamon I feel like it looks pretty good honestly I used to love cereal when I was a kid I really like the fact that they're making healthier cereals because there is so much sugar and stuff in a lot of them but this one is actually like pretty good for you and it's still just like so yummy I definitely want to try the honey, or not the honey, the cacao or the cinnamon one because this one says it's honey, but it definitely does taste a little plain, so you have to add fruit or something into it to give it flavor. This just came in from Amazon and I decided to switch my vlog camera, which I talked about in another video. I just couldn't get used to the screen flipping out to the side, so I got this one instead, which is the EOS M6 Mark II. And I was debating this before, but I wasn't sure which one to get, so I'm going to try this one out and see if I like this better. Ooh. I think this is definitely more my vibe. 
If you don't care about cameras, then literally just skip this part of the vlog because I don't want to bore you. But I do want to talk about it in case anyone is curious or you're looking to start a YouTube channel. For one, you definitely don't need a camera. You can literally just film on your iPhone. But if you do want to get one, I think the Canon G7X that I've been filming on for the last couple of years is a great affordable option. And also the Canon M50 that I returned is also not that much more expensive and it's another good camera. I just wasn't into the screen flipping out but it's a preference thing and then this one i haven't been able to use it yet because i just plugged the battery in I, I was hoping that it would be a little bit charged but i think i'm gonna like this more i definitely like the style of it better and this camera was a little bit more expensive i think i paid a tiny bit over a thousand i'm not exactly sure but it's worth it for me because this is my job and i want to have like really good quality videos and one youtuber that i love that uses this camera is tara michelle she is so sweet and cute and her videos are really good quality also her editing is fire and i know she edits her videos herself but i plugged the battery in and i'm gonna let it charge and then i'm going to like film on this camera and then film on this camera and when i edit this vlog i'll switch the clips back and forth so you guys can see the difference and hopefully you notice something because I obviously spent a lot of money on it and I want my videos to be better. pausing the vlog to talk about Casefy. I wanted to thank them for sponsoring this video. I just got a couple cases from them and I put one on my phone which is so freaking adorable. How cute is this checkered print you guys? This is so in right now and this is actually their new style of case. It's the bounce case. So you can see that the corners are a little bit more extended because it has more drop protection. This one is drop protection up to 21 feet and their cases are just the best. They are the world's most popular tech accessory brand and they have over 2,000 designs that you can choose from and their cases are made from 65% recycled materials. But they're having their biggest sale event of the year coming up. It's Black Friday and Cyber Monday which you don't want to miss out on. There's so many cases and they also have phone straps and phone charms. I got this phone strap that is this like gold lanyard that you can put on your phone and wear when you're on the go. But I definitely think you guys should check out the sale because there's just so many good ones and cases are also a great gift for the holidays coming up. But you guys can go to casefy.com slash hey and save 15% on your Casefy order. There's just the best cases. I think this one is so cute. I also got this one, which is like black and neutral. This is their impact case, but I definitely would check them out. So thank you again so much, Casefy, for sponsoring the vlog today. It's a little bit later this evening, and I just got back from Smith's. I was only going for a couple of things, and I got way more than I was expecting but my brother just got here so I'm gonna go let him in and then I'll show you what I got you said you have to eat two eight ounce chicken meals tonight right <laughs> <laughs> and then it's probably tomorrow that's a whole pound of chicken <laughs> tonight then it's 7.50 I messaged Kaylee and she said or she said she was going to the store and I was like will you give me some uh, fair life protein shakes she said I cannot find the fair life ones is core power okay and I'm like yeah, that's fine. They'll, they'll probably work. She texts me. <laughs> it's literally a Fairlife Core Power Shake. It's the same exact thing. I was like, I found these ones. <laughs> I don't think I've ever bought this much chicken at once before in my life. <laughs> I usually only get two pieces. <laughs> so, I got a bunch of chicken. And then raspberries, bananas, strawberries. I got Jacob Quaker Oats. I don't know if you'll need these or not in the morning. I got myself the Old Fashioned Rolled Oats, more of the Stoke Cold Brew. I got some taco seasoning because Brandon wants me to make ground turkey with taco seasoning. Jake makes that and they were like talking about it last night. So I bought three different kinds so he can pick which one he wants. And then I got him two Core Power drinks, some toothpaste. He said he forgot a toothbrush on the way so I bought that. 
This is some tape to roll my, er, <laughs> roll, wrap my toes. I got the um, dark chocolate one. This is the Peanut Butter & Co. brand, and then the Justin's chocolate hazelnut and almond butter. These are not really like the healthiest, but they are so good. And then some lemons, avocados, asparagus, and just a couple of boxes of the Minute Jasmine Rice. Brandon, you would say, dude, that ground turkey smelled amazing. I know, he was like... I was like, it's taco seasoning. Yeah, that sound, was that so oh, good? Oh, what's happening? Are you okay? I, it was not turning on. Mm, click it. I know, I was clicking all of them. I bought a couple different kinds because I wasn't sure which taco seasoning. I like the Siete brand, so if he doesn't want this, that's fine. And then you probably get this one, huh? I think so, but I looked today, it has oil in it. It does? Oh, 2% or less of vegetable oil. Let me see if this one does. This one doesn't, the one that I eat. Hmm. It has chili powder, sea salt, ground dates, tomato powder, garlic powder, nutritional yeast, cumin, onion flakes, cassava flour, cream of tartar, black pepper, and parsley. So, no oil. What? Cream of what? Tartar. Isn't that how you say it? Is that not right? Tartar? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? Like tartar sauce? <laughs> Wait, that's so stupid. Isn't it? <laughs> tartar. <laughs> I just finished cooking and I sauteed some asparagus. The boys don't want any oil on it, so I just use lemon juice and a little salt. And if you add lemon into it, it makes it taste so good. And then I also just made a big thing of jasmine rice and I washed the rice before I cooked it, which someone told me that you need to do that. So I remembered this time. And then I just air fried some chicken. I didn't even cook it all, I have to do another round, but I made it so much chicken. The asparagus with the lemon, you have to do that. And then I always like adding sriracha and coconut aminos on mine. Wow, it's so fun. I love having you as my dinner date. <laughs> yeah, I'm starving right now. I just got the entire kitchen cleaned up. I have laundry in the dryer. I needed to wash towels today. And then I have the dishwasher going and I wiped everything down, put away the air fryer and the rice cooker. So I got a lot done. And Jake is down in the gym right now. He hadn't worked out and he wanted to use my apartment gym. So he's down there and I'm just getting ready for bed because it's pretty late. It's like 11 o'clock right now and he just decided to go work out. Well, I guess like 45 minutes ago. So he'll be back in a little bit. Washing my face at the end of the night is one of the best feelings. Even when I don't wear makeup, I love it. It just feels so good and clean. I've been wanting to try this. You're supposed to use your, I can't get any out. They say that you're supposed to use your ring finger to put on your under eye cream because it's more gentle. So I need to start doing that because sometimes I'm not gentle. Hi, are you back? Now I just need to brush my teeth and I got this new toothpaste. Well, I've used it before, but I just got a new one and I love getting a new toothpaste because it's always like so nice and clean. But this one is the Crest 3D White Radiant Mint. And also, if you guys don't know, I use a Sonicare toothbrush and I literally love this toothbrush. I will just buy different heads on Amazon and switch them out. But having an electric toothbrush, I think, is such a game changer. Because you barely even have to do anything when you're brushing your teeth. You just like turn it on. So.
It's 12.26 right now and I need to go to bed. I just stayed up talking with Jake for like an hour and a half, which I was not expecting to do. I was about to go to sleep and then we just like got into a ton of different conversations. I made him like a little bed on the couch. When I have people here, I wish I had my guest room still set up, but I'm also happy that I have an office, so definitely a tough situation i wish i had a place with three rooms so that's my goal for the future is to have at least one room for an office and one room for guests good morning you guys we're just pulling up to starbucks and they came out with their holiday drinks and cups today. So I was like, Jake, we have to go this morning. I'm literally still in my pajamas <laughs> because we kind of just got up. But it's a really gloomy day today. Like I've been saying that, but today especially is so cold out. It's 46 degrees. Let's see what their drinks are. The holiday ones are peppermint mocha, oh, iced sugar cookie, almond milk latte. <laughs> That sounds healthy. <laughs> that sounds so sweet. Caramel brulee latte, and then just breakfast sandwiches. Holy you know what you want? Days. Hi, good morning. Oh, they also have a toasted white mocha chocolate. I'll just get the, what you said okay. earlier. And what else can I get for you? We're just gonna make that two. Two of those the same way? Yeah. You got it. Jake's been going to SEMA here, which is like a car show. Specialty equipment market association market or manufacturing and it's just a bunch of new brands promoting their new products and it's like the biggest car show of the year and everybody flies in for it from all parts around the world and not anyone can just go you have to like own a business or there's like special ways to get tickets him and my dad have been going they got tickets from brandon's dad which is really sweet so they've been having so much fun going to that every day That's and insane. yeah i'm gonna drop him off after a little bit to go. Thank you so much. You too. We got two different ones. How Whoa. fun. I love that. <laughs> Cheers. It's so exciting. I know. I, I like these. love the holiday cups, you guys. There's a lady coming here. Oh. I got us both a grande latte with oat milk, oat milk foam, and cinnamon powder. So good. Got the eggs going and a couple pieces of turkey bacon. I just finished making us breakfast sandwiches. I did a piece of turkey bacon, avocado, an egg, and then everything bagel seasoning and red chili flakes on top. Okay, yours is done. That looks amazing. I'm glad. Do you want to eat it down there or here? No, it's perfect. It's funny because it looks so nice when you put it together. And then it just instantly gets destroyed. We're just about to leave, but I wanted to show you my outfit really quick because I'm feeling very fall today. I put on this jacket that is from Lululemon. And then my romper from Maritzia, platform Uggs, and some socks, white bag. But I'm going to drop Jake off. So I just wanted to wear something comfy today. And it's really cold, so... Had to layer in, be warm. Do you like that Bronco? Yeah, they're cool. I like the Defender better. I don't know if I'd buy one of those, but they're cool. They're kind of expensive for that. Yeah, they're really expensive. They're like 70 grand. I know, cause you're not gonna get the base model one. You have to get the cool one or else they're ugly. Yeah. And the cool one's way too expensive for what you get. Yeah. For the 70 grand, there's so many other things I'd rather buy. Totally. There's already so many people down here. It's insane. Everyone's driving like super fast. I know. Get in the right lane and then right when we drive up here, right past this crosswalk, let me just hop out. Okay, love you. Love you, bye, have bye. fun. Thank you. He's off. Do you have everything? Yeah. Bye. I'm gonna go to Brandon's now because I need to drop off some chicken that I made for him and 
my love language well one of them is acts of service and i really just love doing things for people when i know it's just gonna make them happy and so for jake he was so excited that i made him dinner and then not yesterday but the day before i didn't vlog and i made both the boys dinner i also washed brandon's lights darks and towels like i always do his laundry for him and i cleaned the house and then i went to cox and i got him an upgraded wi-fi plan i just like went on to like gigablast or something and they don't ask me to do anything and they don't expect anything but i just love doing it because it makes them happy and it just makes me like feel good to do it so i'm just about to drive by resorts world and I've never driven on this street where you can see this view, but it is such a big hotel. I want to come here with Brandon one night. You can go all the way to the top of Resorts World, and there's like a bar up there where you can look out and see a view of the entire strip, and it's so pretty. I came to Vegas when I was like in eighth grade, and I stayed at the Stratosphere Hotel, which is the one that kind of looks like the Space Needle, and there's rides up at the top, so you can actually do a ride where you like hang off the side of the hotel, and then there's one that goes straight up, and we did the one that shoots you straight up and it was so terrifying but if you like roller coasters and stuff like that you could go to the stratosphere there's also one where you can literally bungee jump off the side of the hotel which that to me just would be like so scary <laughs> i just got back home and i haven't tried out my new camera yet because i got so busy since jake came over so i wanted to vlog a couple clips on this one and then also vlog on the new one and you can see if you guys can notice a difference i just put a different sd card in here so oh i need to set the month and day really quick i literally can't believe it's november this year has gone by so fast to me Ooh, now we're, we're in business. I'm holding the camera side by side right now, and the lighting in the G7X looks brighter, but it is more washed out, like the coloring. It seems like it's more of a blue tone, whereas the lighting in the Canon M6 is a bit darker, but it's more of a warmer tone, and I think it looks like more natural. So I just need to play around with the settings a little bit. I do think the quality on this camera is really good though. And also I like that it's a little bit farther away. Like you can see more in the screen. It's not like cropping me as much. So I do really like it and I'm excited to have a new camera. I like literally don't know which one to look at right now, but it's so exciting and I just need to like figure it out. We're officially filming on the new camera. So bear with me because I'm gonna have to play around with the settings and adjust it. But I just wanna start using it and maybe you guys will see a difference. I did get this package in the mail. I ordered this from West Elm and I just got it. It's the side table that I'm gonna put right here next to the lamp and the chair. So I thought that we could unbox it and I could show you what it looks like. I still need to figure out what to do about this rug. I wanna try to put it in my bedroom under my bed. It is pretty big though, cause it's bigger than the rug that's in my living room. So I'm gonna see if Jake will or Brandon will do it for me. But I've just left it in here for now. I used to never open things like this with scissors, but I always see people do it on TikTok and I thought that that was really smart and more safe. Also, it's way harder to like cut the box open. I really just need to get a box cutter. the shape of it oh you guys can't really see i really like the shape i think the 
indentation on the side. Looks so cute. I still need to use this chair for now while I decide on what I'm going to get. But I just want to see what it looks like. The issue is that the lampshade is so much bigger than I was expecting it to be. So it sticks out really far. I put the desk centered under the art and then I moved the lamp over here. I kind of felt like it was a little bit too much in this corner. It was very crowded with all three. So instead I just have the chair and the side table. Honestly, with the mirror right here, I just feel like this is not a very cute backdrop for a mirror pick moment. And I know that that's not super important, but for me, I like taking pictures in the mirror to show my outfits. And I don't like having the desk and all that because it looks messy. So I'm kind of thinking of just putting the chair and the side table under the art and making like a really cute mirror moment backdrop. And then putting the desk floating in the center of the room. I don't know. I'm really torn because... Aesthetically in the room this looks good, but for like mirror pics and stuff. I'm not like really into it So I feel like I need to change something around my legs are so dry right now So I just need to put on some lotion and then I'm gonna go to Costco and get stuff to make dinner for Brandon and Jake and I'm gonna cook it at his house I also have a couple of packages that I need to send back So I'm gonna drop those off on the way it's like four right now and I still need to deal with rearranging that room but I need to get some advice from you guys and from Lauren and Caitlin so I'm just gonna oh my gosh wow first fall with the new camera <laughs> I'm trying to be careful I swear hopefully Costco isn't too busy right now I'm a little worried because it's like evening but I'm just gonna be getting a couple of things. Who's laughing already? No, that's okay. Did you see what you did? What? Prove it. Why is that still on there? <laughs> what do you do? Nothing. You guys are too much <laughs> for me. <laughs> I was ready to be so serious. He you was have, staring. You don't have to be serious. He looked up and you go. <laughs> Fine. No, not bad. Right. Highs the highs and lows of everybody's day. <laughs> We're lifting today. One of my back daily with us. Days back in the gym. First day back. Real gym. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. 